5.30, gun advocates marched on the state capitol in Lansing. They're on a mission against a Metro Detroit school district they say is breaking the law. 7 investigator Jim Kurtzner explains. Outside and inside the state capitol, this is all about Second Amendment rights and Michigan's law that says local units of government cannot pass ordinances or regulations that prohibit open carry for gun owners. Ann Arbor is in their sights here. I don't walk around all day with an assault rifle on my back. That's because earlier this month, the Ann Arbor School Board voted to make their schools gun-free zones. Only police and people handpicked by the superintendent can carry guns. The superintendent can cancel any school event if gun advocates show up. A lawsuit has just been filed on the grounds that state law will trump the Ann Arbor schools. What they are doing is a crime. Um, you know, we teach our children to obey the law, and they're flagrantly breaking the law. Get this, people cannot carry signs into the state capitol, but there's no security check, no metal detectors, and guns are legal here. This is an annual event for gun advocates. I walked out of my car and saw people with guns around me. I said, what's going on? She's a Michigan State sophomore from Gros Seal and decided to turn this into a journalism class project. On their issue of open carry of guns into schools, She's been persuaded. So you're leaning toward allowing guns in schools? Uh, right now, just he right now, yes, but maybe if I were more educated on the cons of it, I, my opinion could be swayed. Their message, agree or disagree, is gun-free zones don't work and won't prevent mass school shootings like Columbine or Sandy Hook. They say having responsible gun owners armed in the schools is a deterrent. Simply putting up signs or passing ordinances or making regulations absolutely has been proven to not create any more safety. A lot of these people say they will go to Ann Arbor and Washtenaw County when that case goes to court. They can't take their guns into court. In Lansing, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.